Chat, you're looking at the face of a man who spent the last four out, five hours just about editing pictures from his family vacation and he's on the last three. And by God, he's not going to let a little live stream stop him. Wonderful people of the universe, my name's Joey. Welcome to the stream. How are we all doing? I did get a quick glance at the chat. I know Ryan and Blue and Arf Snow are here and I know that they are creaming their little pants off about Bonnie Vare being the being the little backing track for today. <laughs> I'm so here. Don't worry, Chad. I'm so here. Just give me one second. This operation could not be completed. Don't tell me that you crashed. I will kill myself. I did not eject the portable drive. Don't do this to me. I will have a breakdown. Don't do this to me. But yeah, hi, everybody. Ring Blue is here. Yeah, he's having a, a breakdown. Um, who else is going on? Uh, Arsenal said, yippee, Kyle, hello, a Twisters ad, literally die. Um, good song, Bonnie there. Yeah, they're creaming their little, their little pants off. The best sound dodger level of all time. Uh, I hope you die in a fire. Yeah, hey, chat, Navillo, welcome to the stream. How are we doing tonight, everybody? I've been gone. I hope you guys are doing well. I, uh, I'm back. Chat, we're so back. Oh, you're kidding me. The, the, the drive did get exported for some reason that's so cute we're on our final like six pictures yeah it's just we got to keep it going we got to keep the we got to keep the death threats going in this chat how are we hey hey it's been a minute i think my last stream was like two weeks ago on the dot maybe something like that dude it's been a minute i miss streaming man i need more stream ideas i know i have a million projects that i haven't done so before you say a word shut up i'll come after you 
Um, thank you for the bits, Kyle. Welcome, Vic, to the stream. Um, I know I have a lot of things to do, but I do I do like streaming sometimes, chat. Can you believe that? Streamer likes to stream once in a while. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice. I will say it's been extremely nice to not have to do anything for a really long time. I've spent this whole summer, as I do a lot of summers, just not taking a break at all. Um, I've had several jobs all summer long. I really have not had a day off since I got out of school, which on one hand is good because I've made a lot of money, but on the other hand, I was so freaking tired. I'm not going to lie to you. I was getting really burnt out of just every single thing. Like I was miserable at work um, at any of the jobs. Uh, I didn't feel like streaming at all for a while and all of these things. Uh, and then I finally got to go on vacation and I had a whole week where I like, I somehow managed to get out of all of my jobs for a whole week. I was like, listen, I'm not existing this week. Do not ask me to do anything. And so I had a whole week where I didn't have to do anything. And it was awesome. Hi, beta rat. Welcome to the stream. It was genuinely uh, sick and awesome and cool. And it was probably the best thing that could have happened. And I needed it desperately. And so now I'm back and I feel better. Not, I still don't feel incredible, but I do feel significantly better than I did. Because I got to just chillax. Hold on, let me, let me start exporting these chat and then we'll really get into it. Because I have some things to talk about, some things to show you. We got so much to yap about today. Export to custom export. Chat, this is my Adobe Bridge tutorial. You just don't get to see it. Can this thing... Hello? Hey, babe. No? Okay. Um, the first thing that happened... Hey, Marcus. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we need to talk about this little package over here. This is like my little magic box for today. Um, you guys are just aren't going to get to know what it is until I decide to let you know. It'll be fun. Add. Twisters again, chat. Maybe, maybe we need to go see Twisters. I actually am supposed to go see twisters at some point with a uh, with a friend of mine why is this not exporting bridge you're killing me here smalls we're gonna force quit on on bridge for a minute let me turn that down a little bit uh the thing that i wanted to talk about was just that i forgot to turn on my mic until i till the stream started um we hit 6.59 and like 30 seconds and I realized, oh my god, I don't have my mic unpacked. So I had to rummage through all my stuff and I couldn't find my cord. So if you're wondering why the stream started at 7.02 or 7.01 instead of 7, that's why. Dude, I hate it when my MacBook freezes and it's frozen right now. And that's fine. We're going to let it live. We're just going to let it sit here for a while. Oh, it, fro it unfrozed. It unfrozed. How are you guys? It's been so long. I forgot that was a movie. I was thinking of the game with the floor mat. Hey, Joey, let's just say hypothetically, if I had enough to redeem the Wii balance board, do you still have it? <laughs> I do. I do. It's in my room. I'm looking at it right now. I've got my eyeballs on it. You don't. It only took you nine years to give up on Adobe. I can't because my job is so reliant on Adobe. Like, I, can, I could get out of it for video editing. Like I, like, I could go to DaVinci if I really needed to. But photo editing, there's just nothing as good. There's just nothing that's as good as Adobe yet. Um, break 24. There we go. Okay. Select all of these pictures. Let's see if it works this time, chat. Someone give me a little drum roll. Specific folder. Very good. It's working so far. Chat. We're getting somewhere. It's loading. Ace Raids just subscribed with Prime. Thank you, Ace Raids. You're so sweet to me. Okay. That folder. We're into the first folder. We need to get into the second folder, and then we can export. Second folder is currently loading. We're getting in there, though. Oh, it's loaded. Let's click on it. God just redeemed a little stretch. What's up, my X tiers? Ruby, it's time for you to leave. Oh, but welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you? There we go. Export has begun. Chat, we're putting the MacBook down so I can look you in the eyes and talk to you like a real boy. Hi. Oh, I forgot. I got a haircut and I didn't tell you guys. It looks kind of insane right now, but it's been pretty spicy this week. I like my new hair. I mean, it's the same as the old hair, just shorter and it looks better. 
um, and I've been leaving it down a little bit more in front of my face, which is kind of fun and exciting. What's going on right now? I was doing some pictures like a goat. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's giving. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, it actually it looks kind of insane right now, but there are some decent pictures of it that I will show you at some point. Um, I definitely I have so many pictures and so many things to share with you all. But I definitely don't remember everything because I haven't been keeping track like I usually do, which is the first thing I wanted to talk about. I already sort of mentioned it that for the week that I kind of just disappeared and I like for vacation, I always disappear from most of my life, um, like jobs and friends. I just I tell them like, hey, I'm just going to disappear for a while. Um, but the one thing I always do is I never unplug from the Internet. I never stop. I can never stop myself. Um, and so for the past couple years, you did appear with nuts in your mouth. True. Uh, work starts early tomorrow. I hope you have a good night, Ace Raids. Yeah, this stream will not be long. Keep in mind, uh, I have work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. The grind does not stop. I need the... No, not the bottom. The Isn't there like a... I need like a little fadey. This be for everyone else, but not yourself. True. I got an email. You sent me a TikTok. Don't you worry about it, boy. Only 6 a.m. Well, that's when I have to get there. Start at 4.30. Cringe. I'll be working from 6 a.m. to probably 8 p.m. Because I have two different jobs tomorrow. Ha ha ha. I don't have my little fade anymore. It, it's harder to read the text because this, like, all of this is white. There's too much white going on. But anyway, um, I want to chat for today. I'm going to put you over here. I'm going to put your bodies over here for a bit. I'm going to put your body over here for a little bit. Because um, my bed's actually made for once. Wait, Chad, I got this. I got this. Do you like it? <laughs> I got this. <laughs> it's squishy. See, it's all it's all squishy. This shit looks like a chug jug. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I was saying, I unplugged for most of my life, but I always have this little thing that I do. A flashbang warning, potentially. Um, I don't even know who has access to this channel right now, but I do, for sure. <gasps> Fran! We're going to talk about you soon. Um, but I always, I've been using this channel on Discord for a while that I keep hidden most of the year. Joey's Vacation Times. For the past four years of my life, starting in 2020, I have documented my week of vacation in random out-of-context messages. Um, oh yeah, it is just it is just Ryan, Beta and Incorporated for some reason who have access to this channel right now. But yeah, I, I unlock it for one week when I go on vacation, say whatever I want to say, and then disappear again. This year, I didn't. Um, to be so for real, the reason why is because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> and I thought that was great. Um, yeah, like I've been, I felt like I was doing it too obsessively over the past couple years and nobody really cares about it. Like, I don't think any of you even noticed that it was gone, which is fine. I barely noticed it was gone. Um, and it's just like, yeah, the Ryan Blue Piano album, shush. Not even this about you, boy. I'm kidding. No, I love that album. It's my favorite. Um, no, but I this year I was like, I just didn't feel like it. Um, and so I didn't. And it was awesome. Like, I might do it again next year, but it was kind of just like, let's just not. Because <laughs> I didn't, like, there was nothing interesting to say. I was just going to yap about, like, whatever. And I knew I'd do it on stream anyway. So I was like, this is cool. I, I thought about deleting all of my social media apps for a week. Like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Snapchat, like everything for a week. Um, and I couldn't. I couldn't do it. <laughs> but I did use it significantly less. I think the, the best day I got was like new monthly disengage. I have thought about deleting all of my social media for a month, for a monthly. Um, but I feel like I, get, I would get lonely. Let's see. My screen time kind of went crazy this week. Like... I mean, my, yeah, my screen time is down 51% from the week before, which is kind of huge. Website activity. Let's see yesterday. No. Oh, that's why. Because it's 
These are like, it goes by the week. Now show me the days, boy. Yeah, it's like three hours a day. And typically, uh, nope, two hours a day. I lied. Two hours a day. And typically it's like six or seven. So that was huge for me. I do have to like record the monthly, which is a problem. Really everything besides Discord, no YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, just Discord for your friends. That could work. I already have, I've like slowly kind of kicked myself off a lot of them. Like I've kicked myself off Twitter. Um, I'm like trying to get away from Snapchat. I only redownloaded it because some of my friends made me. Uh, Instagram, I'm starting to hate a lot. Same thing with TikTok. I'm starting to hate them both a lot, honestly. Sizable shrimp. I'll play Minecraft soon, I promise. I just don't feel like it yet. Seeing short haired Joey feels uncanny. It's like seeing someone who had glasses without it. I had short hair for most of my life. This is this is relatively new in the span of my life. I've had this hair for less than two years out of my 20 year life. Fun fact. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed just not existing online for a week. I hopped on Discord like twice. Uh, I joined a call with my friends really quick, ate some peanuts in their face, and then left. <laughs> and it was really awesome. It was also such a quick week that it didn't really feel like I had unplugged. The week always goes by so, so, so fast. So, it's a shame. But it happened. Um, I got a haircut the day before I left, so I didn't get to show you all. But that's that's that was cool. Um, I watched a lot of movies. We should wait until I get on Minecraft to talk about the movies because I have so many. I have seven movies to talk about. Every year my cousin and I run through movies like crazy <laughs> on vacation. So we ran through seven this year. Or we ran through six. I watched one before I left that I need to talk about. But first, the only other thing I can't really do before I get on Minecraft, I think, is show you all what's behind me trying to decide because I have pictures but I don't have them yet they're still loading uh, they're on my they're on my laptop right now the one thing the one picture thing I did want to bring up that I'm sure most of you maybe saw already maybe you didn't you little freaks where were you on the 13th huh what were you doing I was in New Jersey I can I have people who can corroborate my story I was not in Pennsylvania on the 13th I did leave I did leave Pennsylvania for less than 24 hours, and the former president of the United States got shot, which is crazy. <laughs> the one day I'm not there. <laughs> it was so funny. I remember I was sitting, I was sitting on the couch, hold on, I was sitting on, um, I, I have it so vividly, my cousins Jack and Mary were playing chess on the table next to me. We're all in like this one room. There's five of us in the room. It's me sitting on a chair. Um, scrolling on my phone or on my ipad i think i was on my ipad um i think i was playing like one of the new york times games because it because it was life 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 was chill so i got to play my new york times games every day uh, so i was doing something on my ipad maybe sudoku and my cousins were playing chess next to me like on a high table and my mom and my sister were on the couch across the room from me and i'm scrolling on my ipad and i get a notification from a group chat that i don't typically get notifications from because i have it muted um but not on my ipad apparently because i get a notification of like dude trump just got shot at and i was like and so i got to break the news to my whole family <laughs> like I, I went and like looked for an article first to get it verified and then i was like hey guys and it instantly as soon as i read it out i remember my sister and my mom were playing a card game like they were playing cards um, and as soon as I read the headline, they both stopped, turned and grabbed their phones, like, in sync. It was so funny. I was going to, into the theater, theater to see Inside Out 2. That's crazy. <laughs> Learning about that as you go in is crazy. <laughs> I was sleeping and my mom texted the family group chat. Yeah. It was huge. You saw it live. Fran saw it live because she was there. She was, she was looking down the scope. <laughs> Fran, Fran was looking down the scope right there. You know what, friend? You do you did come to America for a little bit, and suddenly the former president got shot. So we got to think about this a little harder. Anyway, the the thing I wanted to mention over here was that there's this one picture. I don't have the original, unfortunately, with which really sucks. There was a picture in 2020 that I took because there's an original version of Joey's Vacation Times that got deleted. Like the 2020 year, I don't have anymore. And I took some picture in front of this mirror that was like really stupid and dumb and stupid. And I don't have it anymore, I don't think. Unless it's in my very important files folder. I didn't actually check that. Hold on, let me 
double check just to make sure it's not in my important files. Um, I don't think it is. I feel like I would have remembered that. Yeah, no. Damn, that's a shame. Um, but it was like some silly picture in front of the mirror. And this is like a weird like half bathroom on the first floor. Um, and so I took this picture the second year to commemorate it. Um, and then every year since then, I've just kept doing it. I don't really know why. This is the first year I really made a direct mention of it. Um, that I've taken the same picture across four different years. This is me when I was 17 years old, three years ago, back in 2021. Um, this was me in 2022 when I was 18. Uh, this is me in 2023 when I was 19. And this is me uh, yesterday? Two days ago? No, yesterday. This is me yesterday at 20 years old. I, th I really just made a shift from like a dark blue gray to a bright green. You can see the spectrum there. Do 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 do. And you can see some interesting changes. Like the hair gets longer and more insane. Except here, this is actually the longest hair that it is in any of them. Um, it also gets softer. Like you can see that this boy has a hair routine. Um, this hair is all greasy. That hair is rough. That hair is disgusting, but that's fine. He did his best. Um, yeah, the clothes get brighter. You see the nails get painted, and then they get... Oh, you can't see them in this! <gasps> Chat, my nails. Chat, my nails. I did blue and green for the week. I did blue and green for the week, and you can't even see it. Clothing keeps getting brighter. It was not intentional. I did not realize it, actually, until I clicked post. Not even when I was finding all these pictures did I realize it. I did not realize until I like, clicked post and I was like, oh. And the weird thing is I barely, I don't really wear a lot of green. Like I, I realized today that I've suddenly gained a bunch of like green-ish clothes in my wardrobe. Like in the past week. So, I don't know. Do you have nail polish on standby? You, I actually have not been coloring my nails much at all recently to be honest. Um... I usually do them like some kind of black during the school year, but this summer I haven't really been doing them at all just because at work I can't really have my nails painted because I'm working with food and if nail polish gets in the food, that's gross. Um, I have a couple bottles of nail polish, but this is the first time I did them since probably May. Yeah, and I, I miss doing my nails, so it was fun to have it for the week. You can't see them in this picture. That, that's silly. Um, but I like it. I feel like this is a cool little, a cool little testament to my growth. I think I look better. I, think, I feel like this picture is my favorite of them all. Definitely because there's a soft soap bottle in it. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Passage of time and all that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's neat. It's it's fun and silly. Um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's all I had about that one. Um, let's talk about the package chat. The parcel. So my friend Fran DM'd me a couple weeks ago. And asked me if there's anything I wanted from Britain. And we've always talked about sending packages back and forth, um, but we've never actually done it. Uh, and so this was this was a sudden one. This is a this is a random one because we also, sadly, due to all of the Brits and me and Nick and Dottle all having very busy lives now, we don't talk much because uh, we're just on very different schedules and lives. Um, so this was kind of out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, I would love that. That sounds awesome. Um, and I kind of just said, like, whatever you want, like anything, anything British sounds cool. Um, and then today I got home from vacation with a package at my door. Um, I don't have everything here with me. I left all the food items downstairs, Though there was a bunch of British food and like a little guide to all the food that was sent to me and some letters from Fran. I'm not going to read them to you because um, they're like about Fran's life. Uh, but I got a bunch of stickers, dude. So me a bunch of stickers. A bunch of really cool stickers. Some of them are Minecraft. Some of them... I think this one's... I don't even know if this one's a sticker. I don't think this is a sticker. I think this is just a hand-drawn little guy that I love. Look at this little guy. This is actually, I think, my favorite of the whole thing. I love this little guy. Look at the little guy. I like him a lot. Dude, the fat chicken's crazy. Fat chicken goes crazy, chat. <laughs> Show fat chicken. You drew fat chicken? <gasps> no, you you drew bunny. Yeah, you drew bunny. You didn't draw fat chicken. I know you drew bunny. I love I love little guy. I love little guy. I knew I knew this was hand drawn immediately. I showed this one to my family. 
because I actually I don't I think I mentioned it to my mom like a little bit before um like a couple days before we got home but I was like yeah uh, one of my friends like you remember Fran right um like my family knows of the Brits so I was like do you, you remember Fran um she's sending me a package at some point I don't really know what's gonna be in it uh and so when we got home it was like oh it's time I got some Harry Potter light switch cover Lumos is to turn something on and Nox is to turn it off like Lumos is the the light spell in Harry Potter, so it was, that was that was silly and sweet. Bunch of Minecraft stickers, mostly some hand drawn work. Another thing, this card I know is hand drawn, and it's insane how cute it is. Look at this little, look at this little guy. I love this. Re Seven F, welcome to the stream. This is so cool. Look at that. Oh, this is actually this is probably my favorite. I might like hang. I'm gonna be so real. I might hang just like this. Like, I might hang, hang this up somewhere. Because um, I know a lot of these stickers are going to end up on my laptop. Thank goodness. Because I my laptop's pretty bare. I'll show you my laptop in a second. Um, but then I got another, like, thing of stickers. She sent me about 100 tea bags, which was disgusting and gross and the worst. Who likes tea except the British? No, I'm kidding. Um, but I will, I'll take a look at them. And then I got... Um, a little, a little Oregon postcard. Friend waited till she was in Oregon to send it, which is really smart, because cross, uh, cross ocean mail is really expensive. She also sent me some party rocks. That's a callback to that about three people will understand. None of whom are in the stream right now. <laughs> but yeah, it was really sweet and cool. I do want to try one thing that I have here. I did bring one thing upstairs from from Britain. It came all the way from Britain to my bedroom. Um, before I do, I want to, I want to show you this computer I got going on here. Um, oh, I can almost take out my freaking hard drive. Anyway, I have two stickers on my laptop. This is my laptop. There's my little skateboarder dude and my worry donut. <laughs> it's supposed to mean, uh, like donut worry, like do not worry. Uh, but I like it as my worry donut. It's just a donut that's having an existential crisis and screaming worry at me. My ominous donut. So I'm gonna add some some cool little some cool little guys to my laptop. Sorry if you can't see me right now. I'm looking up Google Photos so I can upload all my pictures to the world. So maybe I can show them to you soon. Cause finally they're up. Chat, how long has it been since I streamed? Two weeks? I don't know what else happened. I got a haircut. We know that. Like we've we've been through that. So that's a different meaning? Yeah, so that is just a different meaning. I know. So artist, artist here. I know what different meanings are. Can this thing load? Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, that's not how you spell that. I used the wrong vowel. Okay. And then control A and dump. It's only 232 pictures. That can't be right. I took like 800 pictures, chat. Okay, so I selected 311. Why did you not export 311? Oh, because you're not done exporting. Jesus. Anyway, I'm going to stop worrying about those so I can be an entertaining streamer. We've been live for 28 minutes? There's no shot. Chat, I've not been yapping that long. I like streaming, man. Um, I brought this thing called Toxic Waste. Which I think is a thing in America. Um, but I've never seen it in like a little bin like this. A cute little bin. Eat the toxic waste on stream. You knew that so fast. That was crazy. Stretch for Kyle. It felt longer than 28? Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, I need to get some lights. I look insane on stream, and I know that. I just like look. I just looked at myself in that face I made. I was like, "Damn, <laughs> I need some lighting." No, I, I I like it. I've never actually had. I don't think I've ever had toxic waste. To be so real, she also sent me some cool like berry stuff, some berry flavoring to put in your water. I downed a whole water bottle of that stuff. It was great. It's just slightly like berry flavored water. You sent the package for- oh, look at you. Well, thank you for sending it. Thank you for shelling out the 18, what was it, 1850? I have the, yeah, 1805 US postage. Thank you so much. 
That was very cool of you. Let's have a look at this, boys. Let's pop this open. He helped. They were scary. <laughs> I put a bomb in the postal guy. Took it out. No, dude. It was even funnier because uh, my dad works for the postal service. So I like showed him the box. And I was like, Dad, look. <laughs> Friend supporting your business. And then in one of the notes that Friend wrote me, <laughs> she said, I don't trust USPS. And I was like, damn, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell, don't tell father. Oh, okay. I don't know how to open it. Step one. That's how. I did it. Chat. Okay, so there's a bunch of like little guys. They're like, they're like warheads. Which one do we think is the worst? And should I have two at once? USPS guys, guy gave fun facts about the postal service to us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want to try the blue one, I think. A t caution, consuming more than one within a brief time may cause irritation to the mouth. Huge. Let's try a blue and a red at the same time. Or no, watermelon. I want to do a... What is it? Blue raspberry and watermelon? Surely a lemon flavor? No, I'd rather die. I hate lemon flavor. If I'm going to do two at once, then we're going to try. Then we're going to do things I kind of like at least. Yeah, blue raspberry and watermelon. Hi chat, welcome back to my toxic waste challenge. <laughs> Today we're going to be trying the 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 watermelon and blue raspberry sour candies. Let's see. Let's let's test these. Okay, so first things first. Um they're not as bad as warheads cuz warheads have this issue where you open the package um and like the warhead is like super glued to the wrapper. Um, cause they've just like melted inside and it's the worst thing ever to try to get them out. This one pops right out. Huge win for toxic waste. I can smell the sour. Like, you know how you can just like sense that something's sour and your mouth gets all like already. Nothing came off on the fingers, which is a little scary. Do I have to break it open to see what's inside? I don't remember which one's which. Whichever one was the blue one did not come out as blue. So that's scary. Let's pop in two at once. Here we go. Mm. Little, A little bit of flavor here. I know what I have to do. I have to take a crunch and it's going to hurt. Oh, wait, it's like leaking out. Cause it's getting worse. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's getting significantly worse. The more that I like suck on these. Don't take that. Don't take that. I don't know if they have juice in it. I'm just trying to survive. Yeah, it's gotten significantly worse the more that they're in my mouth. Cause they're like, don't take that one either. Um. Cause it's like. They're, they're, they're deteriorating fast. But like in a good way. So these are just warheads, but better, I think. Because warheads, you pop them right in and it's instantly like really bad. But with these, you get like a second and it ramps up and then it gets really bad. But it's not like terrible. Like it's doable. Like I like it. I, I've always been a sucker for sour candy. I had a big phase with warheads. I used to love warheads, dude. They were pretty good. I took a bite. Pretty good. Cracked them both open. Swallowed. Done. Ah. Stuck on my teeth a little bit on the crunch. But hey. Chad, that's pretty good. They're not crazy. I know that they could kill me at some point <laughs> if I eat too many of these in my life. I don't mean like from the sour. I mean from whatever the hell is in this. Um, but they're pretty good. Yeah. Eat the rest at once. Okay, so no. <laughs> so that can't happen. I don't want to die. Hang on, how many are there? Chat, let's do a count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Chat. Chat, we have twelve of these. Two was not very nice to my mouth, but it wasn't killing me. Um, I'm trying to think of a deal that I can make with you. Dude, if I died on camera, that would be huge. Hmm. All famous people get more famous after they die. Correct. That's the only way to think about it. Hmm. Trump almost beat you too. <laughs> That's crazy. You must find the human limit. Oh, chat. How, how do I make a deal with you here? What what can I do? What do I what do I wager you against you all? I have to wager something. Because we can't we can't just do it. I can't just suffer for your enjoyment. What do you think I am, you freaks? Hydrochloric acid? You know what? You make a good case. Let me check these pictures, boy. Um, are we done yet? Hi. Hi there, album. Are you done exporting at least? You are? Boy, oh boy. Chat, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Backing up your items are going to take about 59 minutes. Why don't I just kill myself? Uh... Let me stop that for a second, actually, because I just I just messed up, I think. Let's do that again. There we go. Okay, everything's uploading. You're spoiling Lucas. If it subs, I can contribute. I spent my money on a birthday gift for my boy. Aww. Little guy. <laughs> These damn queers is crazy. I'll take a Twitch ban if you eat them all. I don't want, I don't want you to, to die. Hmm. What do I do? Chat, what do we do? What do we do? I hate wagering money. We're not going to do that. Just promise me you all join the Hypixel party when we pop in, maybe. We could just do that. Stupid homos is even crazier. What are we doing? Chat. There's no shot. What's the difference between queer and gay? There's no shot we're doing this in a street. In a Joey TV stream. In the stream chat of a straight white man. Nonetheless, this is a crazy sentence. Are they both the same, like synonyms? Uh, they're close. Not the mysterious man pick. Alright, chat, here's what we'll do. Everybody use your channel points to buy some emotes of mine and use them in the chat right now so that it looks cool on statistics later in the year. That's what we'll do. Use some of my face emotes. And I'll take four of them right now. Let's take four of these toxic wastes. I don't really like black cherry as an idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We'll do that, we'll do a watermelon. We'll do a lemon. And in, I guess this is a green apple. Chat, welcome back to my stream. We got some mysterious man, some Joey loves, some Joey screams. Yes, Joey with the pants. Joey with the pants picture. I like Joey with the pants picture. Um, okay, so we're gonna try four more. I've had the watermelon. That's not gonna work. I've had the watermelon. So we're gonna have watermelon, green apple, uh, lemon, and black cherry. Keep using those emotes. Yeah, Joey with the light. Joey with the go away. This is huge. Thanks guys. Thanks for the bits, Kyle. I like seeing my emotes used. That's so fun. I always upload emotes and then I forget to mention them in chat and then like during streams and then they just never get used. Ooh, the lemon one looks painful. <laughs> I don't like the lemon one. Lemon ones are always the worst for the sours. Okay, I'm noticing something and that is that my throat feels a little bit more closed up than it did five minutes ago. <laughs> That's just something I'm noticing. Um, here is the pastel, like the little, <laughs> here's the little pastel pellets of death. Surely it's not the toxic waste. Surely not. How are you supposed to yap? That's a great question. Make it five? No, surely not. Don't have more than one. <laughs> I would need 
Oh, you did get them for me. Joey T. Go has so much potential. Put it in soda and see if it'll explode like Mentos? Surely not. <laughs> Five just sounds better? Friend, I just did two and it hurt. We're gonna do four. There's no shot we do five. Love you to death. Here we go, chat. This is my challenge. I have no water with me. The, like, my water's empty. <sighs> chat, is this real? Chat, this is real. This is four. Prove it, have five. So that's just not what I just said. Anyway. God, I don't get paid enough to do this. Mmm. Lemon one is instantly bad. Already. I know it's one's a lemon one in my mouth. Ah. That's a new feeling. Mmm. Mm mm. I don't want to move. It feels significantly hotter in my room. All of a sudden. But it's not that bad. I can get through this. I'm a soldier. Ow, did you hear that crack in my voice? It's not that bad. I just feel significantly hotter in my room. I don't like the ASMR. That's a shame. Just sorry. Imagine being me right now. I just licked one by accident. And it just wafted over me. I'm doing good. Get rid of the sourness with a million beers. <laughs> Better that's getting so many fun and cool sentences from me today. I think I've gotten through the worst of it. Feels good. I'm polishing them off now just to make sure. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Chat, we did it. One by one down the hatch. That's one. That's two. That's three. What's left? Lemon! A crunch? And gone. Ah! Chomping them doesn't do anything. Yeah, my teeth feel all squeaky now. I did swallow them whole. <laughs> Correct. As I said before, straight with a very big asterisk. Did you say that? Why? <laughs> Chat, welcome to the stream. Make sure to follow. <laughs> Joey can swallow. That's a bar. That's a rhyme. Chat, put the... Ryan, can we put this in the song? I should just mention uh, beforehand what videos are coming up in the next few weeks. Nothing this Sunday. I was going to try to get something done. I don't have time. I like Hosier a lot. Just because a man's hot doesn't mean I'm... Anyway. Um, but next week, I'm going to post uh, a little thing about YouTube Shorts. And then after that, I have a little art piece that I'm, that I'm wrapping up for you all. <gasps> and then I have another monthly that you guys should help me with right now. Okay, so that's just not what I said <laughs> so far. Oh, yeah. I out here and lay in and polishing. <laughs> Joey's flustered by Hosier's aura. Correct. But anyway, to help me with my monthly chat, we're going to go to the floor so I can do 10 push-ups real quick. Here we go. Can you see me? I'm in, I'm in purgatory with all this white. Chat, that's how you do it. I know, right? The form's gotten better, yeah? <laughs> I've been working on the form quite a bit. I'm doxing myself, am I really? 
Oh, with the class 22. Yeah, it's it's over, <laughs> chat. It's so over. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Looks like a millennial's house with this much white. True. Dude, I've gotten... My, like, Instagram has gotten so strange with those recommendations. I have gotten to the point where some reels I get are just of, like, millennials taking these gorgeous houses and turning them all into just gray crap. It makes me want to kill myself. I already know your address. True. Actually, yeah, most of this chat knows my address. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing how much of this chat knows my address. Um, yeah, so that was my review of Toxic Waste. My mouth feels a little funny. My room's gotten a lot warmer. <laughs> put your hands up if you know Joey's address. <laughs> hey guys, I want to put on a different shirt. I feel so warm now. Can I put on a different shirt? Problem. I need a t shirt. But I don't know if that's going to help me at all. Um. Hang on, never mind. I'm a big boy. Chad, I'm a big boy. I don't need that. That's fine. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Let's play some Minecraft. It's been so long. This is not enough to stand my books up on. Where's my. And now a second Harry Potter book has hit the stream. Joey strip tease? What? <laughs> no. Did... <laughs> why did... Why is... Did Ryan just send, like... What happened? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> do, <laughs> do not no shirt me. <laughs> That's crazy. Joey striptease pinned by Ryan. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. Okay. We're playing Minecraft. Chad, I wasn't going to strip on stream. Yeah, no, I don't like JK Rowling, but I think it's funny that I use two Harry Potter books to prop up my microphone. Let's see. Let's play some Minecraft. Chad, it's been so long since I've gamed. Where's my face? There's my face. Hey! Um... But yeah, I have like three, probably three videos over the next three weeks, which is pretty exciting. It's been a while since I've had that set up. Um, and they're like weird stuff too. Like I have, I have a silly little poem that I'm going to make and then a couple of monthlies. And then one day a song might come out. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, dude? Please move your stream chat. We're overlaid on the game chat. <gasps> you are. You're so smart. Sorry, I use this one, um, like this one, what is it called? This one scene, chat, stream, little OBS lesson. Things are grouped into scenes in OBS. So like, um, hang on, let me accept this. So like this right now, what you're seeing is one scene setup. This is a scene setup. This is a scene setup. Like these are all different scenes, okay? Um... And so the one, like I have four of them. I have my starting soon screen, which you see every day. Uh, I have my little face cam, like the one where it's just my face. Um, and then I have my Google Chrome, which is kind of just like whatever I need to go on Chrome or Discord. And then I have Minecraft. And the Minecraft one is just used for every single game. <laughs> like anytime I need anything that isn't like Google Chrome, I just switch it to the Minecraft one and reconfigure it. So I'm not a very good streamer, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. Let's get a party going. I need to get, I want to get MVP++, but I'm too, I'm too busy for that. I don't have enough money. I just spent some money, chat, on a month of Spotify premium. Don't say, oh, like you weren't expecting to get a, get a, get an invite. Beta rat. Who is online? Ryan gives up. You hate me, and you want me to die. Um, I did spend. I did spend a month. Uh, I did buy a month of Spotify Premium, just for me, because uh, I wanted it. <laughs> when I went on vacation, I was like, I really need a way to. Um... Oh, you're not joining because you're drawing. I did see that, and I just didn't physically process it. Guess we'll have to play Bed Wars. Oh no! No! <laughs> what? No! All right, here we go. Anyway. <laughs> um, what's it called? So for vacation, I wanted to be able, because we have like a two hour drive 
Okay, and Marcus just joined the party. Huge. Thank you for the, the bit, Kyle. Let us play one game of Bed Wars first, Sizable Shrimp, and then I will bring you in, my friend. I promise. Thank you for the bits, plural, Kyle. This is going to be a quick game anyway. I think we're dusted. <laughs> Some of these names look like sweats. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll get dusted real fast. Oh, yeah, we're going to get dusted so fast. Crack Klein is going to murder us. Anyway. Um... Continue your passion project. I love a little passion project. They're my favorite. They're so sweet. Everything I do is a passion project, really. <laughs> In a way. Um, but yeah, so to get to our vacation spot, it's like a two-hour drive, um, which isn't bad. But on Spotify, without premium, you have to listen. I get to listen to two songs and then two ads, sometimes three or four ads, and then two songs, and then two to four ads, and then two songs, and it sucks. So I was like, for this, for this week, I want premium, and so I bought it uh, with student, with um, what's it called, with the student, um, what's it called, student version of Spotify Premium. You also get Hulu, which is huge. I didn't realize that for five ninety nine a month, it's kind of a based, um, kind of a based setup. I kind of love it. I hate it when a song interrupts my ad listening session. Real. I actually, I scared my mom because I had like memorized some of the ads. So like when the gain sent beads ad came on and I just recited it word for word in front of her, <laughs> I think she was a little concerned, uh, but it, it's, it was good. I was like, I was very excited to have the premium and now I can just listen to whatever I want on my phone, which is rare for me. And I like that. And I need that. Um, and now I get Hulu, which is something I have actually never had in my life. And I've wanted Hulu for a long time. Because we have a lot of random movies that I've really wanted to see. And that's the other thing that I wanted to talk about today. It's all the crap that I've been watching, chat. Now, crap is a weird word because a lot of the stuff I've been watching is actually really good. Unfortunately. <laughs> Not unfortunately, I'm kidding. Um, no, but a lot of the stuff that I've been watching has been really, really good. Um, I want to take you on a trip. I'm not going to tell you every movie I've watched um, forever, but in the past week... I have watched seven movies since last Thursday the 11th, and um, a lot of the movies have been really good. Some, One of them in particular has been the worst movie I've seen all year. <gasps> Yellow guy. Diced. Diced. 2v1. Winner. 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 <laughs> I know, Chad. I'm goaded. Don't, don't, don't say, don't, don't, don't call it a comeback. Don't call me a hero. Uh, anyway. I'm just gonna do that. See you later, brother. <laughs> I'm a pacifist. HDMI into TV. That's me. Um, you would know a lot about that. Anyway, I don't know. I don't like the vague sexual undertones that that statement had. Ruby, they're coming back and I'm afraid. Ruby, they're coming back and I'm still afraid. Beep! I got him again. Diced it up. Don't call it a comeback. And I split the gen. Chad, I might be the best Bed Wars teammate ever. Um, but what I was going to say, for real, for real, uh, was that I've watched so many movies. Yeah. I want to take you on a trip down all the movies that I watched. The first thing I'll mention, um, last year actually, my cousin and I ended up watching seven movies, or I guess together we watched four movies, but I watched an extra three because I watched the entire To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy on Netflix, which was a random pull, um, and I still don't know why I watched it all, but I did. And so you might be wondering, because uh, my, my cousin is kind of locked in on watching movies recently, he, um, he actually has watched more movies than I have in a single year. Like, last year I watched 150-something movies in one year, which is pretty awesome for me. So far this year, he has watched 180 movies. Like, so far. Like, since the start of this year, he has watched 150 movies, which is insane. That's not going to work for you, you, you dumb boy. Um... Yeah, so he's like, he's he, he's killing it. He's watched 180 movies this year. Um, and so you would think maybe that we would just lock in a little bit harder. Like, it, like it's still a good showing. But like, hey, 
your numbers indicate that you should have watched more than like seven movies or six movies um the reason for that really oh i'm dicing you that's such a shame that he started dicing me at the end but i was dicing him for a second the reason for that is that we didn't just watch movies i also watched the entire first two seasons of the bear on hulu which is a tv show about a kitchen and depression and it's really good um, it's actually a really 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 good show which makes sense because it's been like called one of the best shows on tv right now there's a yellow guy right here so i'm gonna hit through the crack <laughs> and confuse <laughs> oh brother you poor guy they're gonna think there's an invis now and that's so funny um but yeah the bears awesome i i binged two seasons and i've almost finished the third since i got home like i'm halfway through the third season now which is kind of awesome oh dude i can so get that dead okay huge um but yeah the bear's really good and i watched two full seasons of that and then we on top of that we watched six movies so yeah we did a lot of watching of things the first movie i watched though wasn't um it wasn't during my my week of vacation. It was right before we left. It was Thursday night. Uh, when I went to the theater to see an early screening, Chad. I went to see an early little screening. A little early boy. A little early bird getting the worm. Um, I went to see Long Legs, which, if you don't know, is a movie that I have been hyped about for most of this year. Oh, goodbye, Fran. I hope you have a good night. Thank you again for the package. I loved it very much diced diced okay huge yell team's gone only one guy left that's kind of insane what did we just do um but yeah long legs has been a movie that i've been really excited to see for about six months now and i was really worried about it um because there have been two other movies this year that i've been really excited to see i call them my little freak movies because they're weird little guys um, and like there were two that I had very anticipated, um, on my list this year, very highly anticipated movies on my list this year, uh, aside from Long Legs, which was Challengers and I Saw the TV Glow. Both of these movies, uh, I Saw the TV Glow and Challengers did not, oh my God, <laughs> did not do it for me. Goodbye. Have a good night. R7. Bye, Ryan. Bye-bye. I didn't love it, unfortunately. I was not too much of a fan. I thought it was okay. I understood what it was going for. Yeah, that chat, you just don't get it. That's that's one of my tactical moves that I have to pull out once in a while to really scare the competition. Um, it's it's really advanced. I totally get it if you didn't understand it. Um, okay, I guess I'll kill myself. Anyway. He's in this somewhere. Oh, wait, no, there he is. He's right behind Marcus. Marcus, he's behind you. He's behind Marcus. <laughs> that was huge for us. Hey, chat. Insane battle, guys. Really proud of us. I got second top killer. Chat, what are we doing? Um, I don't know. TV Glow. Ryan, this is the same director that I told you about from earlier this year who also directed We Are All Going to the World's Fair, which, spoiler alert for my end of year ranking, in case any of you care, is one of my favorite movies of the year so far easily like top three like i don't remember every movie i've seen this year but it's probably top three right now um and i went to see i saw the tv glow didn't like it which is one of your favorites uh we're all going to the world's fair you know this one arsenal did they go oh yeah they went um <laughs> they went to the world's fair let me tell you i went to see i saw the tv glow with my mom actually and we both walked out of it like it was just strange and i didn't like i i really got what they were going for the more i thought about it i liked it a little bit more after thinking about it for a while but i still didn't love it like just because i understand what you're going for doesn't mean i'm gonna love the movie um and that happened with that one and with challengers which is a really big movie a couple months ago uh the 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 sexy tennis movie chat it's really just a lot of sex and tennis but it does it's it's a pretty cool movie didn't love it though i also didn't love that movie um and so after getting absolutely slammed back to back um with two movies that i was really excited for 
that I thought were, dare I say it, didn't don't love this word, but I will say it for once, mid. Um, it was a shame. It was really a shame. I was really worried. Yeah, Oppenheimer was just sex and nukes. You are correct. Unfortunately, that is actually all, what all of World War II was when you really think about it. Um, <laughs> so they, they were really faithful with their adaptation. Um, Arsenal dicing it up per use. <laughs> but um, yeah, Challengers and uh, TV Glow didn't really do it for me. Marcus, what are we doing here? <laughs> I was right behind you. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Anyways. You hate it. You hate to see it, don't you? Yeah, come here, Ruby. Let's dice him up. Should I have permission to dice him up? Over. I'm gonna hope that Ruby said permission granted, because I am gonna dice him up. And I'm gonna dice you up too, just for good measure. Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Ruby, are you still there? Please dice them up for me. Uh, maybe she won't. <laughs> um. <laughs> but anyway, Challengers, I saw the TV glow. Both didn't really nail it for me. So I was excited still for long legs, but also really nervous. Because my, my expectations had been let down by both of the two other anticipated movies from this year. Um, so I kind of went in, I was like, I'm going to try to really not be too excited. I'm just going to let the movie happen, and if I'm lucky, it'll be good. And I went to see it on Thursday night. The movie officially came out on Friday. Um, sorry, I now. I need a second. This is bad. Um... What's it called? I went to see it on Thursday night. The movie came out on a Friday. And I saw it with my friend who works at the movies. So we got a little bonus of um, of getting in for free. Which is kind of cool. We got like free tickets. Which is really sick and sweet and cool and awesome for me. There's one guy down. He's going to drop. Or he's not. That's embarrassing. Somebody get a fireball. Can we, can we, can we get a fireball on this guy? Chat? <laughs> Check. We, can we dice this boy up? Perhaps? <laughs> um... Yeah, so we went in for this Thursday night showing, and let me tell you, chat, this movie went crazy. Long Legs is such a good movie. Again, I hate to spoil my end of year ranking. As of now, it is my favorite movie of the year. I'm not kidding. Number one of the year so far. Like, elite movie. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. If you don't lock in, it could be seen as really like silly and kind of funny because um, Nick Cage is being Nick Cage a little bit in it. Um, but oh my God, what a good movie. Genuinely like a movie that from start to finish had me locked in, which is rare now because I see so many movies. I get, I get kind of bored once in a while with some of the movies I see. This movie had me locked in. Um, I haven't been scared by a movie in a really long time. This movie freaked me the hell out. Um, it was a lot. Like, it's a lot of stuff. Just, like, it's just such a perfect, like, genre movie. It's such a good horror movie. It just is everything I needed it to be and more. I love Long Legs. Genuinely. Like, I got out of the theater... And my friend and I just had no words for like the whole ride home. We were just like, we kind of kept stuttering. And we're like, that, I mean, that was, that was just really good. Like, that was awesome. <laughs> we just didn't have anything to say. Um, like I said, it's not going to be everybody's favorite. But that movie, dude, like, I want to watch, as soon as I got out, I was like, I, I want to watch it and I don't want to watch it again. Because it, on one hand, it did, it really like messed with me. Um, there's some sequences in that movie that still will not leave my head. Um, but on the other hand, it's just a really good movie. And I want to watch it. Like, right now. Um, the opening has been talked about a lot. The first, like, five minutes of that movie could be its own horror short film, and it would be incredible. Genuinely, it's a really good opening. Um, it just goes crazy. There's this one sequence involving a letter. In case any of you go and see this movie, you should. Please go see it in theaters. Support this movie. It'd be huge. What kind of horror? It's very much a thriller, I think. There's a little bit of body horror. It touches on stuff about, like, Satanism. Um, is there an invis? Is that what we're looking for? No? 
No, red, red's gone. Um, yeah, so here's... I'm going to give you a basic idea of the plot, just so that you kind of know what's going on. Um, just because it's, it's really cool, and I still won't be able to do it justice. I'm just going to give you the idea that is brought up in the first, like, 15 minutes, okay? Um, so there's a serial called Long... A serial killer called Long Legs. Okay, that's, like, what the name of the movie is. That's so embarrassing for him. Sorry, guys. It could not be me. Truly. I think go in, Viz, just because I have the potion. I want to create some damage for our snarl. How did I miss that? <laughs> that's so bad for me. Dude, that's so horrendous and awful, and I want to die. Come back here, you little freak, man. I need your body. I'm going to get uninvis before... Yeah, they already know. You already know who it is. Come back here, you little freak, man. You know I want to see you. You know I want to talk to you. I'm still here, brother! Um, anyway, so... Let's start here. Um, so, over the course of, like, 30 years, chat, okay? Hear me out. Ten different families have all died. Over the course of, like, 30 years. And the stories are basically the same. Just a regular suburban, like, Christian family just kind of living life. Until one day, the dad snaps. Kills the whole family and then commits suicide. That exact thing happens ten different times. Uh, I don't know if they ever specify, like, the amount of area it's around. I don't think it's too spread out. But I don't, I don't fully know. Um, I'd have to watch it again. <laughs> um, but, like, this happens over a super long period of time. It could... It would be fully read off as just, like, some weird, weird coincidence. Um, because it's just, like, it seems open and shut. Um, the dad killed the family and then killed himself. Like, there's no signs of forced entry. There's no signs, like, of anything. Anything weird. Um, except that with every single one of the family's bodies... There is a letter found, um, a cipher signed by somebody called Long Legs, and they and they can't figure out how. And Ad, you're killing me, literally. Hold on, I'll lock back in in a second. Um, but first, Sizable Shrimp is in the party now. Ryan, if you want to be in the party now, we can get that going. He's still not online. Freak man. Love that. Same. Uh, let's go to Skywars, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so we'll wait. We'll wait, chat. We're gonna play... We're gonna play... Some solo insane, maybe. We're back? Okay, cool. Where did I... Where did you leave off? Like, what, what was the last thing that you heard from me? What am I supposed to explain to you? Also, Ryan, if you want to join now, you can. If anybody wants to join, you're all good. The letter on the bodies. Yeah. So all of these families are mysteriously, like, not mysteriously, actually, very open-shut case killed. Um, like, it's very obvious what happened to them. And it would just be, like, a completely open-and-shut case that would have no further investigation if it weren't for these letters that were being left with the bodies. And the police have nothing. It's genuinely, like, like, how do you... Like, how do you even find a serial killer... When you, like, have no evidence of there even being a killer except for a letter. Because <laughs> it's like, it seems like there's, because there's no way that he would have gotten in. Like, the family must have let him in. There's, like, a whole discussion of, like, even if there is a killer or if there's multiple killers. Oh, it's Sizable Shrimp. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Never mind. My bad. My bad, brother. <laughs> um, and so the movie picks up with this uh, girl named Lee, Har Lee Harker, um, played by Micah Monroe, who I did not recognize at first until I realized, oh my god, it's the girl from It Follows, uh, which is a movie that has also deeply unsettled me for my entire life. Oh, I'm getting diced, chat. This is so bad for me. Yeah, okay, huge. Um, and so we follow this, this new um, detective, Lee, as she, like, breaks open this case and starts to, like, under, like, figure out, like, what it means as she sort of gets, like, obsessed with the case and we kind of figure out how she's more tied into the case than we're being told. 
it's really really fascinating um it's spooky it's so freaking scary um and it just has a good plot like it's it's just good it's just really good it's really hard to say anything about the movie without giving anything away i think the less you see about the movie the better i think having a basic plot is fine but like don't watch a trailer just go and watch it because it is like just such for me at least it was genuinely a deeply unsettling movie it's not afraid to show things which is cool like i've i saw some things in that movie that really freaked me out a lot um i think this is my favorite okay i think this is my favorite nick cage performance that i've ever seen and i've seen a couple of his movies now like i saw him in dream scenario just last year um i've seen a lot of his movies but um oh we can oh i thought that was sizable i'm sorry what happened with the letters again um just that like all these families like it would have been ruled out as just like murder suicides except for the fact that there was this um letter left behind with all of them and it follows this detective as she sort of tries to break open the case of long legs and we find out like how she's actually more related to the case than we're let when then we're told to believe i have not watched clue i need to i know i do i'm quite aware of that fact who can i who can i snipe nobody um yeah it's just such a good movie uh you might have seen some clips online of there's one specific clip of Nicolas Cage singing that is going so viral and it's kind of hilarious. Oh, that's Ruby. And it's kind of really funny. Out of context, a lot of the movie is really funny. Um, but in context, it is so unsettling. Genuinely. I have not seen a movie that has unsettled me this much in a really long time. Maybe ever. I mean, It Follows really messed me up. Um... I don't know, there were points in this movie I really thought that I was over getting scared by horror movies. I jumped, like, hard during some of the parts of this movie. Oh, it's Arsenal. I'm gonna dice up Arsenal. Diced. Diced, baby. Who wants some? Dare I say I'm the, I'm the best gamer there ever was and there ever will be. Who wants some? Who's left? Freaks. I can get, I can match your freak. There's no, there's no chest plate, right? No. They're all over here. I have a power five bow. What do you know about me? What do you know about me? You don't know, you don't know anything about me. You don't know who I am. You don't know my creed. I have a new mouse. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. Guy's sweating. Yeah, it sounds about right. Oh, sweeping. He's sweating too, I promise. Um, but yeah, the movie's insane. It is genuinely my favorite movie of the year so far. Take that as you will. I hope to see it again soon. Um, it's so good. Dude, go watch Long Legs. Watch it in theaters if you can. It's one of those movies that I, I specifically, personally, need it to do well. Because it would make me feel good. Um, it just would. Let me see. Hang on. Um, long legs box office. Let me see how much it's made so far. So far, this movie has made... It's past 30 million, it says, which is good. Already broken a domestic box office record for Neon. I like Neon a lot. Neon's kind of been going crazy. Neon is a film distributor, by the way, similar to like A24 or Searchlight or something like that. Neon's a little bit smaller than those two, but it's kind of been popping off the past couple months. Um, long legs. Yeah, it had a budget of around $10 million, apparently, which is kind of crazy. Um, but it's made over 30 mil, which is really good. It's made a serious profit. Dude, what a good movie. What a good movie. And look at these posters. Hang on. That's what I'll show you. I will not show you um, a trailer for it. Because I think you should just go in blind. Like, blind is the best way to see this movie, I promise. Um, like, look at these posters. This is when I became infatuated with this movie. Is when in, like, January, they dropped this. Pop up. Yeah. 
they dropped this picture. And I was like, wait, hold on. What is this? <laughs> I know nothing about this movie, but I need it in my life. Um, they dropped a few other ones, too. They dropped this poster pretty early on. They dropped like four of them at once. It was that one, this one, this one, and maybe this one? Yeah, that feels right. They're such good posters, dude. Like, I want I want that first one. Where is it? Where did I just... Yeah, I want this on my wall. Is that a problem? I want it on my wall. I want a giant poster of that on my wall. And you can't stop me. You can't. You can't stop me. They don't. It's, it's, it is still relatively high budget for a movie like that. Probably some of it went to just the salaries. Like, Michael Monroe and Nick Cage are kind of big stars, so they probably made some money off it. But it's just... Ugh, go see that movie, dude. Uh, Ryan and Blue, are you joining or what? Yes. It's such a good trailer, too. The marketing team cooked. It has probably the craziest marketing campaign I've ever seen. Which is why I think you shouldn't see any of it. Because some of the trailers and some of the marketing for this movie has made it appear to be the scariest movie of all time it's gonna rip your skin off and live inside your bones for the next 25 years and it's just not i hate it when they do that um i hate when movies just do that in general it makes me want to die um like when movies get so insane with their marketing like i like the marketing of this movie a lot i really do I think they went a little too far near the end where they're like, this is the scariest movie. People have cried. People have left the theater. Like, they get a little too far. But a lot of the movie's marketing is really good. But don't, but don't look at it. E. <laughs> uh, oh, chicken's a good guess. Feather. Um, chicken. Oh my god, what is it? Chicken something. It's not chicken wing. Um, what? It's a zombie chicken, but. How do you, how do you put a K in there? Chicken rider? Chicken... Chicken... Oh my god, it's a chicken jockey? That's what it's called? Okay, Ruby, this, the jockey's kind of crazy on this. Um, no, but it, it it's, a, it's such a good movie. And I have six other movies to talk about, and I forgot about all the other ones, because that one was so good. Um, yeah, anyway, after that, we got down the shore, finally. And after seeing Long Legs, nothing was going to beat it, and that's okay. Um, but we did watch six decent enough movies. Let me go, let me go take a look at what we even watched. The first movie that we watched, we basically did almost one every night. Smiley face. No. Burger. Uh, frown. This feels wrong to stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then all the viewers get it. Um, let's see. <gasps> Alex saw Twitchers without me. You rascal. You absolute rapscallion. <gasps> me, chat, don't look at the stream. Ooh, do we go for it? We go for it. Uh, let's do, let's do this color, maybe? Yeah. And then this for this. Is that all Turkey? Yeah, you guys locked in. I hope most of you didn't just get it from the stream. But yeah, that was huge. That was huge for me. Um, yeah, anyway, so the first... Hold on. Letterboxd, don't be a rat. Let me see my movies. Sort by 
when added the newest. There we go. Okay, so the first movie that we watched on the shore was called Eileen. Pretty much all these movies were on Hulu because this is my first time having Hulu. So I kind of just, we went through like a, a, a little, a little Hulu spree. Um, oh. Huge. Um, yeah, so we watched Eileen first, which is a movie that came out in 2023 that I've wanted to see for a while. Uh, starring Anne Hathaway and Thomas and Mackenzie. Um, can't really tell you much about this movie, except that it's pretty slow for a long time. And it builds up to one really, really good moment. Like where you think something really cool is going to happen. And then it sort of kind of happens. And it ends. So it's a totally fine movie. Uh, and then we watched a movie called Idiocracy. I think on Prime, maybe? That might have also been on Hulu. Uh, that's the worst movie I've seen all year. <laughs> I gave it a one star. Uh, what are we doing here? Apron. Yes, chef. No, no, no. Let me, let me guess. Please. Why is it not letting me guess? Hello? It should... Did I get it or not? Did it say I got it? I'm furious. It's not letting me guess it. Oh, it's a cap. Well, whatever. Still... Even though I got it wrong, it wasn't letting me guess it. I'm, I'm furious. Now, uh, yeah, Idiocracy is some weird movie. Uh, it starts with a really funny idea that, um, like, only stupid people, like, the dumbest people in the population have a ton of sex, and that smart people are, like, more conscious about it because they're boring and don't have sex. Uh, so over the next 500 years, like, the human population's IQ on average just goes down, which is a really funny idea. And it does like the most boring things with it. Like just a completely unfunny, uninteresting idea. Which is a shame. Um, huge. Yeah, so Idiocracy was really bad. Then we watched a movie called Taxi Driver, which is from the 70s? Yeah, 76. This is like a classic movie. It's directed by Martin Scorsese, um, who is like big, big guy. Um, and this movie has been like hailed as a classic, one of the best movies of all time. And it was fine. <laughs> I gave it a three out of five. It was fine. Um, again, it was another movie where it was like cool things could happen and then none of them did. And it was really unmemorable and kind of, kind of dumb. And I didn't really love, like it set things up and then it never did anything with them. And I just got tired of it. So I, I was like, whatever. Then I watched a movie called All of Us Strangers, which was the gayest movie of the year that I've watched so far. And I loved it. It was so gay and so cool. Um, the ending did a lot for me. Are you done? Are you looking at your work? Uh, actually don't know. Um, but... It was a really, really good movie. It was my second favorite of the week. <laughs> Dude, my palace. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, but yeah, All the Strangers was really good. Uh, it's just a love story, basically, but like with some really strange aspects to it of like, like connecting with your childhood, moving past trauma. Um, one of the characters can basically talk to the dead, but in like this really strange way. Um, and it's, it's really cool. It's really cool the way that they do it. Oh no, you've done this before. Yeah, because Ruby knows it. Oh no. I've seen you build this before. I still have no idea. Well, that's cute. It's, uh, light, hold on, 
Light, light. I don't know. Light bulb. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh yeah, All of the Strangers is really good. Then I watched a movie called The Darjeeling Limited, which is a Wes Anderson movie. One of his earlier movies, it feels a little bit less like a Wes Anderson movie than some of his do. Like some of his more recent stuff does. But you can see sort of like the... Him evolving into his style, which is really fun. Um, this was another one that I thought was a little bit too clunky. There were some things I wish that they had done differently, but I like the idea. It's again dealing with like dealing with tragedy and like how, how different people process death. Like they're all it's three brothers dealing with the death of their father in like the weirdest way possible. Um, and it's like almost really good. But they messed a few things up in a way that I just didn't like. What are we doing? Oh, wait. It's a... If only I could spell faster, I would have gotten that first. <laughs> um, but yeah, Darjeeling Limited was fine. Then we watched Sicario, which was the best movie of the week. Uh, at least the shore week. That is like a weird movie about war. And the consequences of like doing drug busts and how some people do things unethically in war and it was a really strange movie not strange it was just really well put together um it's two hours long and like it was the one movie this week that i could say the whole time i was actually hooked and interested in what was going on so yeah good movie sicario i've heard the second one is really bad though and i want to watch it <laughs> so i might i might do that soon but yeah some some decent a lot of fine movies this year or this week um oh plate's a really good guess bro's decided he's done um it's like a cup slant no <laughs> A hat of some kind, a chef hat. Give us another letter. Ah, uh, flame. What? Dude, llama's crazy for that. Um, a. How did you get this, Arsnarl? Uh, how are you all getting it? What? It's full of dirt. It's like a bucket. I have no idea. And I just got bumped off the leaderboard for this. A plant? No. There's no shot. And there's no shot he's filling it in, too. <laughs> there's no way Bob is trying to fill in the plant bucket. Instead of making the plant. No shot. But yeah. Good stuff. The highlight of the week was definitely watching The Bear. Uh, the TV show. So that was fun. Um, and I was just hanging out on long legs. I was coasting on long legs all week, so, uh, so that was fine. I'll watch it again. I don't care. Medi Kanashi has shows opening night. <gasps> Break legs. Break legs, lady. Huge. Okay, I'll do like a few more games, but then I need to go to bed soon, which is cringe for 8.30. But I have such an insane weekend ahead, I need to sleep. Uh, chat, what are we playing? We have, what, five of us right now? Kind of a rough number. We could play some arcade games. Need to watch more gay things. True, everybody needs to watch more gay things. Dare I say it. Let me be, let me be bold. Everybody needs to watch more gay things. Um, yeah, we're going to play Dropper, because I like Dropper. Sorry. Um, what was I about? To, oh yeah, my weekend. My weekend's crazy. So like I said, I need to go to work at six tomorrow. I have been off because I have like my stable job chat, like my my nine to five, go in like clock in, do the work, clock out job. That runs from Monday to Friday, okay. And then I have random side photography jobs. I'm a video editor, and uh, I mean I'm technically a videographer. Um, 
but I did all the videography stuff already. So for the summer, I've been a vid video editor. <laughs> Instead, I'm just editing all the videos I've already taken. Um, and I finally finished that like right before I went on vacation. Um, so now my other thing is I just do like photography and video side jobs. Like I'm still working for the Eagles. I'll be back there on like the first or something of August. Um, and then I have this other guy who I'm randomly like shooting a wedding for tomorrow. And then I'm doing like this, this, um, this banquet type thing. I don't know if it's technically a banquet, some kind of weird ceremony. That is wool. You're kidding me. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing like some kind of banquet on Sunday. So my weekend's kind of insane. Uh, cause my nine to five job texted me he, uh, earlier this week. I was like, Hey Joey, what's going on? Um, and that meant, Hey Joey, we need you. <laughs> One of the bakers at my job got hurt and they don't have any people who can bake at that store. They have produce people and deli people and cashiers. So when a baker calls out, they're kind of screwed, which is when they come to me. Um, Cause I used to bake at that store and I haven't for a while, um, but they called me and were like, Hey, we need you so bad. And so I'm pulling up again this weekend on Saturday from 6 AM to like 11 to just pull up, make all the bread for the day and then peace out. This is really bad for me. Hold on. I need to like lock in for a second because this is so embarrassing. I keep, oh my God, I keep hitting the same piece of glass. Okay. I almost got there. There we go. Thank you. Anyway, so I'm going to that job for a few hours uh, from 6 a.m. to like 12. And then I have to immediately get in the car or first I have to get changed into fancy clothes and then hop in the car, drive about two hours um, into like central PA so I can go video my first wedding, which is really uh, exciting, but also like, Jesus Christ. Um, it's also just a lot. You know what I'm saying? How, how am I doing this? Boys, how, how are we doing this today? Hang on. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't get there. How am I getting here today? Where am I going? <gasps> Saw God for a second there. Dude, this is kind of crazy. Yes, yeah, so I can film my first assassination uh, th this weekend. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Nobody's safe. I'm kidding. Please don't. <laughs> um, what's it called? I don't want to skip the level. That's so cringe. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to shoot my first wedding, which is really, really exciting because that's like a that's kind of one of the big money makers when you're a photographer and videographer. Uh, you want weddings. You want big gigs like that. So to get the experience is huge. I'm moving up in the world chat. Be proud of me. But I found my way down. Bro. Um, we'll play the dropper one more time. But yeah, that's a kind of a pain because it's two hours away. Um, so I'll drive there and that'll probably last most of the rest of the day. And then once that's over, I'm still two hours away from home. So what I might end up doing is shacking at my sister's place, which is like an hour away from the wedding. I might shack up there because I have to go back to Central PA anyway, the next morning. Now we're Sunday morning and I have another event in PA. Um, so I'm probably just gonna overnight there, uh, do the big weird banquet event thing that I'm like photographing and videoing. I don't even know, dude and then die. <laughs> and then I'll go home and go to bed. Actually, I'll probably come home and stream, tell you all about it, and then go to bed and get ready for work on Monday. <laughs> that's that's where we're at, chat. The things I do for money are crazy. I will I will not have a day off again. I, I took my I took my week of vacation and now I'm paying for it. Scoop, scoop. But yeah, it, it was it was a fun vacation. And I'm ready to get back to work because, chat, your boy needs money. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, no, but I got I got my, my college bill today. As soon as I got home from vacation, I was like, that was my wake-up call. Of like, all right, get back to work. <laughs> you had your fun. Now get back to work. Um, because it was a lot of money. And I am paying for it all out of pocket this year. So I'm ready to lock back in. 
Speaking of locking in, I'm killing this. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't even know where I'm going right here. I don't even know where I'm going. But he's out of control. Oh, no. He's not. Where's the... Chat, where is the water? It's in there? No shot. There's no shot, chat. There's no world where it's in there. There's no... There's just no way. How are you doing that? How do you get in that... Is that like a frog? How are you getting in that boy's mouth? Hang on. I'd like to retract. Never mind. <laughs> Can't go back now. Beta rat left, right? Hey, Nanj. Nanj. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hey, buddy. This is so bad. I genuinely cannot figure this out. Um, somebody asked. Dude, nobody can, nobody can tell you. Singular hole? Amen. Hang on, I got it. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, maybe there's like a path right here. You swing back in? Nope. Almost. I feel like that's a hole right there, no? Like this? No. <laughs> Wrong. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Never mind. <laughs> Try one more time. Oh, eight seconds. It, it, I actually only can do one more time. I can lock in. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so many innuendos today. I don't. I'm not trying to. Beta Red is still here. Wedding is huge. Congrats. It is. Thank you. See, Ryan gets it. Chat. None of you understand. I promise, a wedding's a big deal, especially to somebody who has no portfolio. <laughs> Or no portfolio like that. How are my pictures doing? Six more minutes till they're all up. It's kind of huge. We'll take it. I think my plan is we'll play like one or two more games, and then I'll give you guys a little little peek at some of the pictures I took this week. Um, and then we'll head then we'll head out. I didn't take as many like weird fancy ones as I usually do, which is kind of sad, because um, I do like my weird fancy ones, but I just didn't like. I've been doing like fancy pictures down the shore for like the last two or three years and there's only so many you can really do when you go to the, when it's like the same three spots so that's fine I just kind of had fun with it I, I just kind of got a little silly and I like the pictures I ended up with so it, it was it was sweet okay now I'm a cow and so what if I'm a cow what if I'm a lawnmower I'm moving movement. Arsenal, leave me alone. I'm trying to get some movement going. Alright. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to get in the zone. Okay, 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 okay. Huge. Nope, not huge. Not nearly huge enough. Okay, let's, uh, let's not do that. That was terrible for me. Disgusting. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Don't like this at all for me. 27 seconds still? Dude. <laughs> I'm dusted. Chat, I'm dusted. This is over for me. This is already over. This is the worst day of my life. Unironically, the worst thing that I've ever done in my professional career. Professional or personal. Anything I've ever done. It's the worst. What are we even doing here? Chat, why are we, why are we even playing? Keep going. Cow, move over. Ruby, what are you doing here? Generally the worst thing I've ever done. Diced it up. Second place. We take those. <laughs> what it sounds like when I'm farming in Skyblock. Yeah, that sounds right for you. Everything Beta Rat knows is linked to Skyblock. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Huge. Two. Okay, so now we just need to dice up the competition somehow. Whoever's on yellow, how did you already die? <laughs> Oh, I made a penis. Anyway, I'm sorry. I got really distracted. <laughs> Arsnarl, you leave me alone, boy. I do not need this smoke. Oh. You're kidding me. Okay, so I've just been sincere. I don't want to play anymore.
I just... I don't even know what the point is. <laughs> I used to, I used to be good at this game. Chad, he fell off. Chad, who's Joey TV? He fell off. He fell off so hard. Oh my God, what a terrible game. Why are you queer today? <laughs> the back-to-back, -back, why are you queer today and why are you so bad implies something homophobic, I think. Hey guys. Ah! No, it's not. We're friends. Or not. We're friends. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy here. This guy here. Come here. Come here, boy. I like your suit, but there can only be one one well dressed gentleman here today. And you're gone. Oh, Arsno. No. Are you clicking so much? Oh, you're like you're like you're like jitter clicking it. I'm doing it. Shut. I'm doing it. Finally. After all my years of training. I can't do it. I feel like I'm giving birth. Anyway. <laughs> Why can't I hit anybody? <laughs> what do you mean? I could have diced him. No. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Can't even fall off, right? Amen, brother. Yeah, this weekend's going to be something special. Oh, it's almost done. It's only like the last 10 pictures right now. Oh, dude. Oh, wait. Actually, I can kind of play this one now. Can I? It's a snowball ice game. It's just stupid. You just gotta knock people off the thing. It's been so long since I've been able to play this game with a working mouse. Okay, well maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe I am. Chad, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Can I just hit something? Okay, maybe not. Yay! Chat, you all need to stop hitting the things I'm trying to hit. I want to die. <laughs> I want to scream. What's this one? Oh, parkour. Chat, parkour kid. Okay, here we go. 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 I don't know how to optimize this, but there's probably a way. And our is probably already done. What? Why did it stop sprinting? Why did it stop sprinting? I was winning! I'm so tired of this game! I don't understand. I promise you, chat. I was sprinting. We need to log off. Because I'm clearly not locked in enough for this. Uh, gold. Let's down that. Wow, uh, the wood. Oh my god, why didn't it work? It didn't do the thing that I needed it to. Brick, stone, cobble, dirt. Oh, I hate it here. That's a new record for me. <laughs> so he's not my dad. Clearly not. It's just been so long since I played Minecraft, dude. Look at this little guy. Look at this little freak over here. Look at this little kawaii boy. I hate this one too. Joey, it's just not it. Clearly not. Unless it is. Unless it is. Oh! Unless it is. Oh, chat. Wait, hang on. This one, this might be my only one that I have. <laughs> chat, this might be it for me. If I can win this one, then I'll take it. Oh, wait, no, I can't because Arsenal is so freaking fast with it. I did end up conquering half the map, but at what cost? I'm not going to be able to catch up in time. Can I please select the damn dirt? Arsenal, you need to stay out of my way, boy. I'm so tired of you being toxic and the worst, and I hate you. And I've already dusted you. Get dusted, boy. White boy of the month? Me. Look at that. Look at that map. Look at that map, chat. <laughs> Who's got, like, half the map right there? Me. 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 <laughs> Look at me. What's the what's the TikTok? Ruby will know. Angela! 
it's not Angela, is it? Whatever her name is. Look at me. It's like the guy from the boys. Okay, so Arsenal's mad at me. I see that now. He's upset that I diced him in his own game. In his, dare I say, in his best game. So now he's going to try to kill me with giant pigs. Truly the American, <laughs> truly the American way. Where is everybody? That's Arsenal again. Chad, is this just what the 4th of July is supposed to look like? I feel like it is. Dare I say it. Boop. Boop. Scoop. Got him. Dusted that boy. Come here, people. I need to show you my true American value. Ruby. My goat. I thought I killed her. But I killed a woman. 100%? Yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you. I got third! I'll take it. I'll actually take that. That's huge for me. Why is the double jump cooldown so long? Why are you so bad? Anyway. Chat, before I leave, I'm gonna grace you all with the presence of some pictures that I took this week. To reminisce on my past. <laughs> back, back in my, back in my past. Which was like days ago. Not even. It was today. Actually, none of these pictures were today, I think. But whatever. Visit Google Photos. <clears throat> Let me get my right email up real quick. Here we go, chat. I took a lot of pictures. I'm not going to show you all of them. We'll scroll through, but like I want to highlight a few. How did you get third? You were dog water? Okay, so... We don't need to be so mean here today, guys. We could be a little bit nicer about it, maybe? That's okay, though. That's fine. I feel okay about it. Anyway, here's some pictures I took. So we got second. I got second diced. Anyway, this is vacation. Uh, we bought a giant flag of my uncle's face to concern him. Because last year he got a shirt with my dad's face on it. So my dad, of course, escalated. Uh, and there's my uncle reacting to it for the first time. That was silly. And this is everybody laughing at it. This is him realizing it, and then everybody laughing at it. So that was huge. Um, this is my aunt in the pool. I like this one quite a bit. I like the color of it. Sweet. This one's just silly. It's my cousin and my uncle reading at the same time, in like the same way. They both have their drink on the left side and their legs crossed, and it just made me very happy. Um, I do love pool photos. Well, that's when most of vacation is just us hanging out in a pool. That's what you're going to get. I'll be so real with you. Here's some leaves. Here's a stop sign that I liked. A little crosswalk. Here's no parking in the street. You'll see another one of these later. This is a bird that I liked. Am I still on Minecraft? Disconnected. <laughs> I, like, I actually like this one a lot. This is one of my favorites of the week, I think. Um, some other good ones, some other good, like, random ones. I struggled to get, like, normal pictures this this year. I just tried to take a bunch of weird ones. Uh, I like this one, shockingly. I was not expecting to like this one. Um, but yeah, this was cool. Every pool photo, you're like, I like this one. Yeah, I do like a lot. Oh, just because blue is one of my favorite colors in photos. And so just, like, the deep, like, light blue of this is so cool. Um... This one's fun. I actually like this one a lot. I don't fully know why. I think the weird framing. I did a lot of weird framing this year. You'll see that. Uh, I also really liked my wide angles this year. Um, you'll see that soon too. Because I think last year I took a lot of really cool photos. And so this year I was just like, how do I make it different? And the answer was wide angles. You'll see them. Uh, here's me and my cousins playing around with our shadows. We made eyeballs out of seashells and it didn't really work. <laughs> but we tried. Um, I like this one too. Really random picture. Can't really tell what's going on, but I like the shape of it. And I like the color. Blue is probably my favorite photography color. Green's still my favorite color overall, but I like blue in photography a lot. Um, then the sun started setting, and we got some crazy pictures. This is probably an all-timer for me. This picture goes crazy. <laughs> this kind of goes insane. Um, yeah. <clears throat> this is like an all-timer for me. Like, all-timer ever picture probably uh it feels a little bit like a stock photo but i kind of still love it it's just neat i'm gonna do some work on this one it needs it needs a bit of work 
all these are like slightly edited, but it, need, it needs some work. Um, but yeah, that one's cool. And they're all pretty neat. I actually like this one a lot too. This is a weird, this is a weird picture. Like the framing's just strange. Like I really am taking a picture of their shadows rather than of them. Um, and I kind of adore this picture. Kind of weird, but it's a, it's a weird, like it's a good weird. I like this one a lot. This is, these are probably top two from the, from the week for this. How did you get the exposure to not have the sun blasting out in the photo? This picture, um, so chat, the briefest photography lesson for you. Um, F-stop is something that really helps like, like F-stop is kind of how big or small the hole is on your camera. Um, to like allow a certain amount of light through when you have a really really tiny hole like this It's called f22. It makes everything go in focus really well. Like hold on. Let me show you um, It sort of allows a lot more things to be in focus and it makes the image a lot darker So you typically shoot stuff in f22 um, What's it called in like broad bright daylight? Okay, so these are just a planes I guess that there's an F-22 plane. <laughs> yes, it's exactly like the eye. It's exactly like eyeballs. When you guys go out into a, like, say you're in a dark movie theater and you walk directly out in the sunlight. If you looked at somebody's eyes as they do that, you'll see that, like, the black part of their, of their eyes goes from this to this really fast. And that's because your eyes is adjusting to light and it's letting less light in. So it goes from really big to really small. Now, when you're when you're shooting uh, with a really small aperture like this, you get this cool like blurry dotty background. When you're shooting on a high aperture, you get something like this where there's a lot more stuff in focus. Um, for this, to get something like this where you're just shooting directly at the sun, it is max f-stop. I'm on f22 here. Um, we can actually look. Let's actually take a look. Because I think. Wait, I'm not. Okay, so my camera was on auto, I guess, for this, so it didn't fully do that, which is why you get some of the blur up here. I was expecting it to be a little bit higher, maybe not f22, but like at least f12. But that's crazy. I could have sworn I was on at least f12 because these sh clouds are still in focus too. Instead, my camera decided to go for high shutter speed. Um, the other way you can dampen your brightness is by going for the shutter speed. Um, this is basically like blinking. The way that your camera takes a picture is it like it snaps. You always hear that click when you take a picture, right, of a ca with a camera. Um, and your camera can do that really slow or really fast. Um, most high-end cameras can go up to like one eight thousandth of a second. Um, and that'll allow for like really quick motion. Hang on. Um, so when you're doing something like... Like when you shoot with like uh maybe like a three second shutter speed that means your camera's open and taking in light for three seconds which means it has a lot more light so it can shoot in really dark spaces which is when you get stuff like this like these streaks are cameras taking in all of the light of cars driving by for like three seconds um and so you get these really cool streaks um yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of landscape photography um it's a lot of like when you whenever you see these long light th streak things that is long exposure photography um this is actually a really great example um if you do like on a longer shutter if you give it like a 15th of a second you get these weird streaks in the water if you shoot something really really quick you're getting it more in that moment um so like you get like these really cool detailed like you can see each water droplet without it moving um or you can see like that's how you get a lot of these nature photography a lot of nature photography not landscape nature photography um is high shutter speed because you need to be able to see things moving at quick motions like birds like water like animals that kind of thing um but the con the the trade-off for that for getting these really like um split moment like these fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a second things is that it, there's not enough time for a lot of light to get in so you either have to bump your iso or like bring down your f-stop which is why a lot of these really high like like these high speed moments like these birds the whole background is just blur because their f-stop is so 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 low it's like f f1 if they can if some cameras have like f1 point something um sorry for the photography lesson that's just a really long-winded way of me saying that this picture is a 32,000 or 32 hundredth of a second um to make it even slightly viewable um 
you have to make the camera shoot really, 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 really fast to get something like this. Or the trade-off could be uh, you make the f-stop like f22, like I said, but then you wouldn't get this like this plane of focus where all this stuff in the front is really kind of pretty and uh, like like blurry. Um, so yeah, it's a good trade-off. I like I like how this one turned out. Yeah, that's that's my little photography rant. I could yap about photography for so 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 long and get really into it, but I won't. Because you guys will get so bored. <laughs> Tried taking sunset photos, but either they're too dark or too bright. It's really tough. Like, because when you're getting the sunset, when you're shooting something directly at the sun like this, that is the biggest amount of contrast you will ever shoot in your life. Because you are literally pointing your camera at the brightest light in the world. That is what you are doing when you're taking pictures of the sun. You're shooting a camera, you're shooting a picture of the brightest thing you physically can. So it's either anything in that picture is going to be super, super bright, aka the sun. Brightest light out of the world. Yes, die, I'll kill you with a gun. Um, it's going to be super, super bright or super, super dark. That's kind of the only trade-off you're going to get. Or if it's something like Golden Hour, super, super orange if you're letting the sun hit it directly. Um, but if you're doing something like this with the silhouettes, it's either going to be super dark or super bright. Um, so that also comes into just editing it later. Like this video, this picture is definitely edited. Um, their silhouettes were like surely pitch black in the original picture. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just a, it's a matter of like dealing with it later. There's only so much you can do when you're taking the picture. Some of it you just have to have faith in yourself later. Um, I love that picture, and I love this one too. Like you can see them a little bit better here because the sun's barely in it. But you can see we're still shooting at a, a five hundredth of a second because <laughs> it's still really bright. Anyway, some more sand pictures. Uh, this is just me and my two cousins. We went out on the beach for a bit. I like this one too. This is silly. You'll see um, at some point, I shot from the other side of the sun. Like right now, they're between me and the sun. But I went in between the sun and them at some point. And that's when you get stuff like this. Like their skin in this was really orange. I had to bring it down um, artificially. Because like that's just what happens when you're shooting at sunset. You get these really weird things. Uh, I like this picture. That's cool. Uh, the bird. Yeah, we got, we got a couple seagull pics. A couple cute little seagull pics. Um, I also took a lot of footage during this specific trip to the beach because I'm making a, a video out of a poem that I wrote and most of the footage and it's going to be on the beach. It's a lot of the shots are really simple, but like I, I still like them. This is another one of those wide shots things that I was talking about. See some rainbow over here, which is cute. And my cousin's sitting on this tipped over uh, lifeguard bench. A couple other fine ones. This one's okay. The bird isn't nearly as in focus as I would like, so that's really devastating. That could have been an all-timer, or at least the top of like this vacation set, if it were in focus, but only so much you can do. Uh, this one's kind of neat. There's a bird right here. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but there's a bird here. Um, I don't know, just kind of neat. A little, little color study. Is that your sexy body? What? What? Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> Chat! We are not doing this bit. <laughs> um, anyway, there's my sister. There's me and my parents. There's me doing my best. <laughs> Anyways, enough of you. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit stronger. I think my arms have gotten better from all the push-ups, but they're still not great. That is not a six-pack. Anyway, there's the like two of the only pictures of me in the whole set. There's some at the end. You're turning red? No, I'm not. I just don't, it's not out of, I'm not, what's it called? I'm not, um, I'm not flustered. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah, this is my uncle. I actually like this one a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you, I like blue in my pictures a lot. The blue and the purple here is so cute. This is so fun. <laughs> I like that picture, man. Um, thank you for the bit, Kyle. Um, we got new goggles this year because we left ours at home and they were so, so, so terrible. Look at how awful these goggles look on people. And they also just don't work. The goggles, like, they would just get filled up with water every two seconds. So it was just terrible. And then I took this one after they were doing that in the pool. And this is one of my favorites of the week. This is, I'm inside in this shot and they are outside on the bench talking to my grandpop. Um, 
and they have no idea that I'm there, and I love that. So most of my favorite pictures are pictures that people have no idea where I am for them, um, and this one's really sweet. It's a sweet picture. It makes me happy. Um, weird one of my mom. Like it. We were just driving somewhere. Who even knows? Cool picture. Um, another random me cameo because my cousin got upset at me for taking his picture. So he's like, all right, now take one of you. So I turned around, no, no scoped. Um, this one I like the colors of. The blue and the orange is so, it's so cute. I like this shade of blue a lot. Can you tell? Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, just saw one I liked a lot. And the house one you just showed looked like Wes Anderson. I'll take it. I don't know which one you're looking for. These are the ones that I'm scrolling through right now. If you can give me a basic description, I'll pull it up for you. You in the mirror with that person. Oh, this? The glasses? We're getting there. This is a fun one. This is just me. I took these against some sunglasses at a, at a store that I like a lot. Oh, no. I haven't shown it yet. Oh, well, I still like this one. This is a cool one. This is actually one of my favorites of the week, too. Oh, this is me and my sister. <laughs> That's me and my sister. That's Teresa. Hey. Hey. Um, she's having fun. Yeah, th this one. These are these are fun, too. Uh, but yeah, I like I like this one better. That one that one's just silly and, and strange. I like the strange ones quite a bit, if you can't tell. Speaking of strange ones, this one I almost love. I wish I had a bit more of like right over here. The one way is a little too close to the edge. Uh, but this is still kind of cool. This is like my probably my weird picture of the of the week. So that's all. A um, bunch more pool pictures. This one's kind of cool. I like this one quite a bit. Just because the shadows are kind of neat. And you get like the, the weird foreground stuff. And then you see like the whole pool in the back. That's neat. And we get a little wide angle one. Which I also like a lot. This is like the first kind of wider angle. Like you can see I'm at 29 millimeters instead of probably six, yeah, 66 in this one. This is your little lesson on um, like the, what am I thinking? Of like your zoom on a lens. The lower your millimeter, like the less you're zoomed in, the more curved kind of feeling you get to it. Um, like you can kind of like get more depth in the image. But then, like, the background's less blurred than it is in something like this. Like, the, black, the background's really blurry. Things get really flat. Like, it doesn't look like there's that much distance between him and this float. But there's probably about 20 feet. Maybe 15 feet of distance between them. Which is kind of cool. Like that picture. Um, I get random pictures of my mom all week. She typically hates all the pictures I take of her. So I just take random ones that I like for me. Um, this one's kind of fun. A little clever. Over the Ed. <laughs> Over the Ed. <laughs> I just like the little crop of it. Um, this one's fun. It's not mind-blowing, but I do enjoy it. Do you have any picture that shows it very well? Huge. Oh, yeah. There it is. Should I quick little quick little zoom example for you? Hang on. Uh, wait, what else do I have in my DMs with Beta Rat? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Huge. Anyway, this is the example that I have from Beta Rat. Um, typically, portraits like of people are taken around 100 millimeters, maybe 70 if that's all you have. Because it gives them about the proportions that you see when you look at a person. When you get to like 300, you get to like a really flat, strange image. And something like 24 is just like... It's like the 0.5s you take on your phone. They're just, they're just a little strange. They're fun. Um, but they distort things in a little, little bit of an odd way. <laughs> Don't worry about what Beta Red said. I'm not bagging it. But anyway, I like this picture. It's weird. I like the orange. That's a, actually another color that I really like in photography is using a lot of orange. Um, yeah, a lot of these are just fine. I like this one. My mom's going to hate it when she sees it, but I like it a lot. There's me. little self-portrait. little blurry self-portrait in a car window. As per my huge, this one's cool. I don't even really know why, but I do like it. It's just silly. Uh, my dad jumping in the pool, my dad and my mom, my sister, my sister again, my uncle. This is what this was the day that my whole family came down the shore. So it's like a very much a 
people photography day. Um, so mostly just doing pictures of like my family. I like this one. Again, a little bit wider. What is it? Four? Yeah, this is forty millimeter. Just just some kind of fun pictures. Like there's nothing crazy going on. They're all just like sweet. Like this one. I like that one of my sister quite a bit. Although I can tell that she, I'm pretty sure knew I was taking a picture here because she's doing a very fake smile. Um, oh, I like these. I forgot about these. I did work hard to get these ones. This one's probably better. I haven't fully decided which one I like better of these two. These are kind of fun. They were all playing poker or Texas Hold'em or something. And I was just walking around taking weird pictures of them. Uh, this one's another weirdo. Kind of like it. Kind of don't. I don't know. Strange. Uh, another weird framing one that I think my mom will delete, but I still enjoy just because it's kind of strange. And also just the orange versus blue always does a lot for me. Uh, chair cool. Yeah, I see. That's what I'm saying. Oh, this one's one of my favorites of the week, too. Um, just because it's like my sister hanging out and just like the framing with the, the chairs makes me happy. Just good. Just good framing chat. Some good framing. Another one. Good framing. I had a little bit of a kick this week. This is a, this is another one that I actually really like. I remember this is one of the only pictures during the week that I took. When I took it, I was like, good picture. <laughs> so yeah, there were, there were very few pictures this week that I was like, that's going to be good. And this was one of them. And I like it. I do like it. It's good framing. Um, bunch of fine ones here. Like the beach is always a spot for good pictures. It's really easy to get like weird horizon pictures like this um we're getting like framed by the big buildings of atlantic city back here oh here's the no parking that i said would come back <laughs> i like that picture a lot yeah the beach always looks pretty cool it's always fun this is uh i took these pictures while arsenal was busy calling me hot um this one's pretty fun too <laughs> this is my uncle just being silly i need to get rid of that hair that's right there um but whatever this picture is pretty cool. No, actually, no, there's a better one. This one. This is pretty heat. I don't really know why, um, but it's heat. <laughs> I like, uh, this is my aunt. I like her green top. That's doing a lot for me. Um, I used that child to find your exact location. Did, if you say so. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, th that was a cool picture. I like that one. Uh, pretty neat leaves picture. I typically don't love leaf stuff i actually i don't think it's loading all the way or else i can't tell what's in focus oh these are in focus maybe i don't like that one as much whatever um i like this one again i like a lot of my horizontal pictures they just have cooler framing to me sometimes i like a lot of nothing going on up top um a couple more wide like a couple a couple more silly ones hmm Another me. Hey, chat. Self-portrait. I don't like this one actually at all. My head is like sideways. This was yesterday, actually, this one. Um, oh, this is one of my favorites of the week, though. Here's one of my favorites. This is my uncle. Chat, that's my uncle right there. Kyle, beaches are awesome. I mean, they're not awesome. During the day, I feel like I'm getting fried alive by the sun. But like at night, like sunset beach, like beach at sunset is so fun. I watched the sunset on the beach three times this week, and it was the best every time. I like this one. That's a fun picture. Then we got some more beach pictures. Chad yeah, did a lot of beach shot, be, beach beach shots this this year. This one's pretty cool. I couldn't really tell you why. I did it again here. I also really like it here. I like both of these a lot. Um, I think I might like this one better. Just there's a bit more depth going on. And they're kind of strange, the birds. So, yeah. Wrong. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's really bad. I disagree with you. Sometimes it's really bad. This one's fire. Dude. Um, when we were down there the last time, this was last night, actually. Which just seems so strange to my brain. Um, we showed up every year, my whole family, like my... But everybody that's down there for the week, which is my family and my uncle's family, we take one like afternoon and we go to the beach right before sunset and we take a bunch of pictures. Okay, this week I'd gone a couple times and it was chill. So we pull up 
um, last night. We're like, all right, this is our last night. We gotta, we should get to the beach. And it's foggy as hell, dude. It was so strange. I'd never seen the beach foggy before. Um, and the reason is apparently like it's been the, the water's been so cold and the air has been so hot that it made like this strange fog everywhere, which led to some really cool pictures, but some really rough family pictures. It's <laughs> so, like, this was really cool. But then like a lot of the family pictures just get like this weird haze to them that I could probably improve, but I don't know if I want to spend that much time on all these pictures. Um, but yeah, this is, this one's heat. I actually really, really, really like that picture a lot. Again, blue and orange is definitely my favorite color scheme for pictures. This one's cool too. There were some, just some people drinking and smoking at the boat. Um, but I still like it. Um, weird one on my dad. Again, this is a wide angle one. This is a 29 millimeters. My, my lens goes from 24 to 72, I think. Check that. 28 to 75, sorry. So this is like basically as wide as my camera goes and i really like it like last like the past year or so i've been on a really big like um i don't know what the opposite of a wide angle is like a, a really t intense zoom like i typically took a lot of my pictures at 75 millimeters as zoomed in as i could but this summer has been fun like the 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 wide shots have been kind of fun i like this like that's one of my favorite pictures actually and it's at 29 millimeters, which is almost as far as my camera goes. This one's cool too, another wide. Just my family hanging out, my cousin just absolutely sniping me. He's been so wide, Chad, I have. I've just been so wide for you. Bunch of silly ones of my family just being happy, having a good time. Another cool one, people walking into the fog. Not as cool as the other one, but still neat. Another huge one for me. This is a fully wide shot. This is 28 millimeters and still it's so heat. Peep the bird over here. Dude, what a good picture. That's a good picture. The wave like crashing and framing her face here is so good. Best photo of all time might be a bit much. That's your best one ever? No, it's not my best ever, but it's good. It's a good picture. This is cool too. I, I went back to them again. <laughs> um, another another weird one. She asked for that one, so. Oh, and there's me, chat. This is my new sweatshirt that I gotta show you guys some more of. I like this sweatshirt a lot now. It's like a it's a cute color. Me and my cousin Jack. I love him, man. I don't know. I'm looking at myself right now, and I'm like, that's not me. <laughs> I know it is, but it's so strange, chat. I've I. I always look at myself and don't think I've changed much, but like that is just not the same human being that I was two years ago. That is just not the same human being. I swear to God. I know <laughs> I was holding for dear life. <laughs> like you look at, like I look at that and then I look at like the picture that I took like two years ago down the shore and it's just not the same person. Could be on that shoulder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like, this is just not the same human, right? Like, hang on. Let's open that in a new tab. Yeah, and then let's um, pop over to... Oh, I don't even have last year's pictures on here. Where are last year's pictures? Hang on, I'll take a look in a second. Yeah, because this isn't good enough for portfolio. Hang on. We'll, we'll take a look in a second. We'll, we'll back up soon. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just strange. That one's fun. I, I really liked taking pictures of, the, of this lifeguard stand this year. Um, oh, you know, I, I am... I mean, I'm getting happier. I'm in a better place than I was probably even three months ago. I'm definitely getting better, which is good. Which is huge for me, chat. We'll talk more about it once... I've kind of zoomed out of this part of my life. I'll get to like lock back in, but it is strange. Like I look at me here and I am really, at least physically chat. We're not gonna talk about my emotional life. We'll talk about that some other day. Uh, maybe when a, maybe when a song comes out or something, we'll talk about that. But like physically right now, I'm getting to a place where I'm like happier with myself physically than I have been like ever. Just like the way that I'm dressing, I feel better about. 
I guess it's that plus a decent haircut plus push-ups <laughs> means that I'm kind of happy with how I look. Some of them I look rough. Like, any side profile of me looks really bad. Like, chat, look at this. But, um... Like, a lot of these are just cool. You're struggling. You always... You always have all of it. <laughs> you always have all of it. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. All, all of you guys. I know, I know, I know. I'm kidding. Um... No, that's silly. I do I do feel better about myself than I have in a while. I finally got one chat. Um we'll we'll get back into introspective about me in a second. Uh but I finally got a full family picture. Which I haven't done ever on the beach, I think. I was like, okay, let me lock in. My mom had like a, a little hat with her. And I laid that down on the sand. I was like, Can I put can I put some sand can I put some sand in your hat? <laughs> She's like, Yeah, I don't care. Um, so I put that on the ground and then I put the camera on top of the hat and I framed it and we did a bunch of timer back pictures. Um, and we ended up with these. I, I really love them a lot. It makes me really happy that my family, they, they, um, my family is very sarcastic as you can probably tell because I'm very sarcastic and they'll always like, they're very biting. Like if I, like they'll make fun of me for kind of anything that I do. But for this one, which was really nice, um, they were very down to just let me do my thing so like I had an idea for staging and like how I wanted this to be framed and for once instead of being like oh of course Mr. Photo like being all silly about it they were just kind of like yeah let's do it and like kind of did whatever I said and that was that was pretty cool it made me it made me like oh they all they, they love me man um I'd probably redo it now like I probably put my mom and my uncle in the center um, but I still like it. Like, I think it's cool. I like the progression of, like, these are the kids, these are the adults. I paired up the two. Like, the... It's parents, parents, these guys' kids, these guys' kids. Um, which I think is nice. I just like it. And I like the, like, the greens on either side. I think that's good. And having two of them sit. Jack is huge, so I was not gonna let him stand. Um, Yeah. I like this picture. It makes me really happy. This will th that'll be a big calendar picture soon. This is one of my favorites of the week. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. It's actually similar to a picture I took like three years ago, but it's still heat. Chat. It's still heat. This one is too. Another wide shot, 31 millimeters. Based picture. I just like it, dude. I just like some of these. They're strange and silly, but they're just like neat, dude. That guy. I have no idea who that is. Don't know him. Don't know him. <laughs> no, I took a different version of it. He's probably looking at me in this, being like, what the hell is that guy doing? But yeah, cool pictures. Let me take a second. Why did you growl? Because sometimes you have to. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find these pictures really quick that I wanted to talk about. Because um, I have all the folders of like the past few vacations on here somewhere can you hey google photos can you please work for the love of god i'm gonna have a freak out hang on um you gotta take more pictures of random people i do i know and i like taking pictures of random people i'm sorry i do sorry liberals <laughs> i like taking pictures of random people they're actually a lot of my favorite pictures are of people that i do not know Genuinely. Um, thank you for the bits, Kyle. Thank you kindly. Mm, okay. There's a chance that the picture I was talking about is in this folder. Because this is from 2022. Titled Content. Let's see. Because it was a picture of my cousin Luke. Who you all know as Lucas Dukas. Absolute master. Yeah, this one. It looks like this picture. <laughs> That I also like a lot. <laughs> Good pictures. These are from 2022, from a while ago. Before I like actually learned how to edit pictures and stuff. These were neat. But there's too many of them, for sure. Like, a lot of these can be taken out. Like, this year I took 800 pictures and I trimmed that down to 300. That's fine. Um, yeah, there's, there's some good pictures in this set. Uh, what was I about to do, though? Oh, yeah. I want to do a quick retrospective. Because I did, I've been doing this a lot recently where I'll like look at 
random recent pictures or videos of mine and it's like damn who the hell is that <laughs> it's like damn that boy's like you're I'm 20 <laughs> that's so freaky it's so freaky and strange to me because like I don't even know I guess ever since I grew up my hair it's felt a little different but like I don't know I see a picture of me from like even just 2022 which is two years ago and I feel like I look way different. Like, it's not even just the hair. It's the... Like, I typically have a bit more of a stubble now. I feel like my face shape has changed a bit. I feel like my body's changed a bit. Like, I put on just, like, a tiny bit of weight. Um, like, five pounds. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot for me. Because I haven't put on weight in years. Um, I've tried to get, like, a little bit of... A little bit of muscle memory... Not muscle memory, a little bit a little bit of muscle. Not much, just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of a bit. Where is any picture of me? I took 600 pictures this summer. Do none of these have me in them? Come on. I guess not, dude. Um, <laughs> Chat, where, where, where do we go now? Sorry. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, whatever. I guess we could just kind of, like, you can even see it based off of the, the freaking, like, the, the picture that I posted from this year. Uh, where is it? The, the damn, you have enough muscle to do real and true and good push-ups, so clearly you're doing something right. Well, yeah, that's been, that's been the whole month, dude. <laughs> that's been, that's been my work. But, like, you see something like, um, like this. Where is that picture? Pick some memes. Like, you look at this. This guy. Look at this guy. And, like, I see him, and I'm like, that's... Unfortunately, to me, that's still kind of the image that I have in my head of me. Or maybe this one, really. This, this to me, is me. Like, when I think of myself, I think I still think of this guy. Um... And then I realize that that's just not the same human being anymore. For some reason, that's just, like, there's such a disconnect between those two people in my head. Like, you look at that, and then you look at, like, like this is just three years ago, but then you flip that to, what, this. Boom. I don't know, maybe it's just, like, whenever I grow out of stubble, I feel like I'm, like, five years older than when I'm shaved. Like, right now, I feel like I look old. I look in the mirror, and I'm like, damn, you're, like a, you're actually a 20-year-old. Yeah, it's good that I've changed. I guess I do just have longer hair, maybe. I want to cut it again, but I think the entire world would shatter. <laughs> if I went back to my old haircut, I think the whole world would fall apart, actually. Real, not fake. <laughs> I've mentioned it to friends of mine, and I'm like, I, I've thought about going back to the old hair. And no, people at school who have never seen me with the shorter hair, I've mentioned it to them. Like, oh yeah, like here's a picture of me. Um, and they're like, no, I would, I would actually explode. I don't know. You, you would think so, Ryan Green Blue. But there was one time in high school, my senior year, when I got, when I got a really, really short haircut, so I didn't have to cut my hair for like four months, and I got made fun of for about a month. It was really bad. Yeah, long hair. It might just be, it might just be the long hair vibes. Who knows? Um, yeah. Good summer, dude. Who is this guy? Who's this guy, chat? I am happy with myself. I'm, I've, I'll talk about this more, maybe in a Joey offline, maybe at the end of the year or something. Just like the work that I've been trying to do on myself. That could be fun. <laughs> dude, our star heard offline and woke up. I guess I haven't made a Joey offline in a while, have I? I probably should, even though Arsenal is the only person that watches them. <laughs> like, yeah, my, my, my last four have flopped. <laughs> numbers speaking, I don't really care about the numbers of Joey offline. But yeah, I could lock in. Freak, freak you? Ryan Blue watches them. Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make one. I do want to talk about it. I keep forgetting to. Um, that I've just been doing work on myself and how I feel good about it. I did, I... What's it called? 
I filmed one about my clothes in like January, but I hated it so much that I stopped and scrapped it mid recording. <laughs> like I had set up everything and kind of gotten an idea for what I wanted to talk about. And then I was like probably 10 minutes into it. And then I was like this and this sucks. And I'm ending the recording now. And then I just stopped. <laughs> Be your only only viewer and you'll accept that. Alright. Baderat doesn't watch them. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about me. Baderat doesn't care about me. Chat, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> um, I have to be awake in like eight hours. And I don't wanna be, but I'm gonna be, so I can go make some bread. Literally and figuratively. Wait. Because I'm going to make bread, like physical bread that you eat with your mouth. But I'm also going to make money. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to imagine you in five years, you're going to be so hot even more than now. Thank you. I think I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Chat, you never know. There's always a chance that you could fall off. Why are straight people so gay? That's so real. I... I've never really considered myself to be attractive in any way, shape, or form, to be honest. I should I should turn this into an offline, because, like, there are... I could... Dude... Oh, how depressing do I want to get? Because I could talk about, like, the whole trip of... How I viewed my body in my life. That could be interesting. Okay, I'll make a Joey offline about it. Because I actually am in a place now where I feel like I'm good enough. <laughs> I still don't think I'm, like, decent. I still don't think I'm, like, whoa, but I, I think I'm okay. I think I know slightly better how to dress. Before I leave, I want to show you a hoodie that I got that is really hard to match with any clothes that I own. My parting gift is this guy. Not All the colors aren't really popping off right now, but look at this. This is pretty cool. Ugh. It goes well with like a white top, see? Like the white, and the white down here. I need some darker shorts though, but like, hey. I wish there was a pocket here, but there's not. Yeah, it is like that one. It is like that guy. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Back up real quick, Janet. Don't leave me yet. Anyway, folks, that's crazy that you guys, like, pulled up and stuck around for that whole damn thing. There's still seven of you here, which is crazy. There were, like, 13 people here for a lot of the stream. I was keeping an eye on that shiz. Um, thank you guys for being here. I'm going to leave. Uh, I'll be live probably Sunday to tell you guys about the insane weekend I'm about to have. Um, I know I say it every time I disappear for a little bit, but I missed streaming. I had some fun today. We didn't really do much, but I had some fun. I hope you did too. If you have any ideas for what I should be streaming, leave them in the Discord, because I'll do them. I think I just run out of ideas really fast, and that's when I get burnt out of streaming. Um... Thank you for the bit, Kyle. I hope you guys have a good night. I'm gonna go. I need to sleep really bad. Other than that, my name is Joey. I shall see you all in the future. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you for watching. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>